Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to be breaking apart rectangles and arrays to look at them differently with their groups and columns, or rows and columns. So our learning goal for today says, I can use scissors to partition a rectangle into same size squares to compose arrays. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your scissors, your lesson 14 template, and your problem set, because we're actually gonna complete our problem set together throughout our video. So make sure you grab those. All right, so friends, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out rectangles A, B, and C. The way that you're gonna cut those is right here on these lines. Okay, so make sure you pause the video Cut those out. Do not cut out the rows or columns yet. We're gonna be, I'll tell you exactly when you need to cut those out. So pause the video, cut out those rectangles, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here you should have your three rectangles. They're all exactly the same, so don't get worried about getting mixed up with which one's A, B, or C. All right, so for problem one, you're gonna cut the rectangle A into rows. Okay, so here's my rows. Pause the video, make that cut to have your rows, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's my two rows. So now you're gonna complete problem one. So pause the video, complete problem one on your problem set, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so A says rectangle A has how many rows, friends? Two rows, perfect. Each row has how many squares? Four squares. And then C says blank rows of rows, um, blank rows of equals. So how many rows? So two, two rows of four equal eight, you got it. All right, so rectangle A has how many squares? Eight squares, awesome. All right, let's look at problem two. You're gonna cut rectangle B into two, or into columns. So here's your columns. Grab your scissors, cut them into columns, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here are my columns cut out now. You're gonna pause the video and complete problem two on your problem set. So pause the video, solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so rectangle B has how many columns? Four columns, awesome. Each column has how many squares? Two. Okay, so how do we fill this in, friends? There are four columns of two, which equals eight. So rectangle B has how many squares? Eight squares, you got it. Awesome job, friends. All right, so if we put both rectangles back together again, so there's no gaps, so go ahead and do that. Then you're gonna move the rows of rectangle A so they're sitting directly above the columns of rectangle B. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here's what you should have. All right, so what do you notice about these? Well, they're the same size and shape with the same number of rows and columns and the same total. Whoa, pretty cool. You guys recognize that you can decompose the same rectangle into rows, columns, or individual units, so individual squares. All right, so we're gonna take both rows of four and cut them into four twos instead of two fours. So you're gonna cut them here. 
So pause the video, make those cuts of your other rectangle. All right, so now here's what we should have, okay? So put together your rows to form one long rectangle that has eight columns of two. So pause the video, put them together so you have eight columns of two, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here is my long rectangle with eight columns of two. All right, so imagine we're going to put two rows on top to make the exact same rectangle. What would those rectangles be? Yeah, two rows of eight, right? We would need the same thing again. All right, so we can decompose this rectangle into two rows of eight or eight columns of two. It's describing the same thing. One's just looking at columns and the other one's looking at rows. All right, so cut out all of your squares from rectangle A and B and count how many squares you have. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, how many squares do you have? Yeah, we have 16 squares, right? So you're gonna use 16 squares to answer problem B. So go ahead. Complete problem three, construct a new square or new rectangle using all 16 squares. So pause the video, solve problem three, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here is my rectangle using all 16 squares. So my rectangle has how many rows? Two rows. How many are in each row? Eight. Okay, let's look at the next part. So it says my rectangle also has how many columns? Eight columns. And then how many are in each column? Two. So my rectangle also has eight columns of two. Okay, so now we're going to write two repeated addition number sentences to match your rectangle. So the first one that I came up with is 8 plus 8 equals 16. That goes along with our rows. The other repeated addition sentence that I came up with matches my columns. So 2 plus 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 2, plus two equals 16. All right, so friends, you may also have come up with another way to model this, and that's okay as long as you're using all of your 16 squares and you have an equal number in each row or each column, okay? All right, so for problem four, you're gonna cut out your squares from rectangle C. Okay, so here's rectangle C. Pause the video cut out your squares from rectangle C, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Now you're gonna use all of your squares from rectangles A, B, and C for problem four. So complete problem four. You're gonna construct a new array using all 24 squares. So pause the video. Create a new array using all 24 squares and then click play, or I'm sorry, then answer the questions for number four and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's my array. Okay, so my rectangle has how many rows? Four rows. And how many are in each row? Six. So my rectangle has four rows of six. My rectangle also has how many columns? Six columns. How many are in each column? Four. So my rectangle also has six columns of four. All right, so now we're gonna write two repeated addition number sentences to match your rectangle. So the first one that I came up with was six plus six plus six plus six. Okay, and that's going over our rows because there's four rows with six in each row. 
so that means you would have four add-ins. The next one I came up with matches my columns, and because there's six columns, I'm gonna need six add-ins. So four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus four equals 24. All right, so again, also for this one, friends, you could have had a different array, and that's okay. So if you have a different array that's not four rows of six, then you need to make sure that you review it with your learning guide to make sure that you have the correct answers. All right, so for the extension problem on your problem set, you're gonna complete the extension problem and review it with your learning guide, okay? Do it, do it, do it. It's not required, but I would prefer that you do it and review it with your learning guide, okay? All right, so you guys are on fire! Great job partitioning rectangles into same size squares to compose arrays. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends!